What's up guys, Krista here again. Hope you're all feeling epic. Um, finally gonna be doing a little video on how I did the rear guards on the E30. Had a few people asking about that, like just where I cut it and how I stretched it out and whatnot. Um, just without having to go fiberglass wide body. And these ended up being about 75 mm side wider. So they're way wider, wider than factory. Like as you can see, they're usually in line with the door. So they, um, these are 15 by 8 negative 50 offset wheels and they sit just about bang on. Um, so it's pretty basic really. Give a quick run from the outside. Um, you can see along here, give it a light quick. And you can see Pretty much a little wedge plate in there. Oh, this is... Man, this focus is terrible. And then, so I cut along the bottom of this body line and then up the door. Um, I originally had only cut it not quite as far, but the further I pulled it out, it needed somewhere to stretch from. So I ended up having to cut up, you can just see the end there, about there somewhere. Um, and I just made sure, obviously, that the door line doesn't come you cut it just inside of that radius. Oh man, what's this focus doing? There we go. Just inside of that radius. It just makes it easier to make sure this door jam and everything still lines up afterwards. Um, you cut it just inside that radius and then as you're pulling that out that way, this will shorten up. And I just went from Zero. I think uh, here it's about 60 odd mil and then by the time I got to there because I pumped it a bit more as well, it's 75. Um, and pretty much the inside of the guard, the inner guard, this, I went in, I think it's 50 odd mil, I'll open it up in a minute and I'll have a look. Just cut the inside of the guard as well and then pretty much just do a filler strip on the inside. I'll whip the wheel off and we'll have a look eh? Alrighty, so now that the wheel's off, we can see a bit easier. I don't know how much you've got to see. You can see, I think it's all painted black and covered in rubber. Man, at least you've got quite a bit of rubber in there. Um, so you see this little spacer plate in here. As a, you cut along the line there, cut it right in, and then follow the guard up. I've cut mine there because I'm blocking that off and I've redone all my strut towers separately. But if you're still running your whole guard, you pretty much just have to cut it all the way around. You will have to be careful at this end because the fuel filler is here and it heads down this way, ducks down quite close and behind the wheel if I remember correctly. So you just have to uh, watch out for where that is up the top on this side. But it should be far enough out of the way. And then pretty much I used a, had a guard puller, a guard roller sitting on here, just like your standard normal guard roller. Had it bolted on and used that to push it out into the desired width. Um, one thing you might find struggling with the, if you're still running a full car, is how much it will stretch from the back because you see even as I wriggle that, it actually shrinks the, I can't really see, moves that back in, in and out. So it might be a case of having to cut some inside here to give it somewhere to stretch from, even if you cut it just inside there, it would probably work. Give it somewhere to stretch and then fill that. As long as it's got somewhere to, to grow or shrink from. So that's pretty much how I did them. It's actually real simple. Um, it would be a trickier on a four door, obviously. On a sedan, you'd have to get creative with the door or whatnot, but pretty simple in the coke. Let's see, can't really see much from the inside, guys. Nice. There you go. See a little bit. 
But yeah, so voila. It's pretty simple. Um, you guys give it a go or whatever. Make sure to tag me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. It'd be cool to check out if other people are doing anything similar or if you know of anyone who's doing similar sort of style wide bodies. It's always cool to get new ideas. Man, I'm still loving these wheels, man. Yup. Oh well. So that's it for the little guard experiment. Hope you enjoyed it. Might be helpful to some of you. Probably not. I don't know. It's the internet. Someone will use it probably. Yeah. I don't know. I might do the front guards. The front guards are real simple too. They were literally just bought another set of second set of guards. And what it would usually be this line here. Just pretty much cut them, flattened it out. Oh, no, sorry, I cut it in the inside lip here. And then flatten that edge out. Pretty much space it out, weld it over, cut the inside one out. And then cut along here, lifted that up to bring the bumper line back in. And space this out. Bam! Space it that out and cut the inside out. And then some of you would have seen on some of my other videos. Just made these little spacer plates out here. All the dimple dies, keep it all nice and stiff. Yeah, so that's how I done it. See you!